Well, hello and welcome back. Thank you for coming back today. Well, we're in downtown Kedo Paphos. We're going to take you for a little nose around and see what's going on. I think we'll go up Bar Street, down a side alley, and end up to the rear of the Alexander the Great Hotel and have a look at the beautiful, beautiful blue, blue Mediterranean Sea. But before we go, I'm going to introduce you to the most beautiful woman in the world. And her name is Ochin Gracivia Lubov. Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again. And again, so stick with us. We are in the lower part of Bar Street. Just over there, you've got the Alconi Tavern, which is a restaurant, international cuisine, and a bit of a steakhouse. And the food in there is very, very good indeed. And you've got a set menu every single night of the week. You don't have to go on the a la carte, if you understand me. So if you only want to go on the fixed menus, it varies from 15.95 right up to the top one for 20.95. And on that, if you're wondering, well, you've got a shrimp cocktail, you've got a swordfish, king prawns in garlic, and a nice cheeks cake to top it all off. And you get a bit of wine as well. Very, very nice in the Pacific. Cheesecake. Yes, cheesecake. We do like a bit of cheesecake, that's for sure. And prawns, because obviously this is the island of love. And being an island, there's a lot of sea around it, and that means there's a lot of fish. And that fish is very, very fresh and very, very tasty indeed. Do you know that the people where you bought your pies, they also got, did I tell you, they also got cheesecakes? They had cheesecakes, Homemade yes. Homemade cheesecakes. Right. You did so. Yeah. Yeah. So what the booth is referring to is we went and did an assault on the Duck Pond Market, which is in Lower Clorica. And we had a wander around there, made some new friends. And we made a friend with a chappie called Billy and his wife was Karen. And they make whole made pies and cakes and they actually will make them to order as well and they mentioned that they make a cheesecake and I do like a nice cheesecake so next weekend we'll pop back and we'll sample one of Karen's cheesecakes now if you've committed some sins in downtown Keda Papos perhaps drunk that a little bit too much or perhaps assaulted a policeman that could be the place to come and repent those sins this is the rather nice quaint little church that's bang in the middle of Bar Street. Strange, I know, but if you want to repent your sins, that's the place to go. I have to pray like this. How'd you do it? There we go. What about the rear end? Not in front of the church. Not in front of the church. Right, stick with us. We are on Bar Street. There's not a lot going on because, as you understand, well, bars tend to open at night. They're not open today. But we thought we'd have a little wander and take you with us and perhaps show you some of the bars when they're not open. Now, big shout out to our super, super, superstar. And her name is Miss Sally Bryce. Because, Miss Sally Bryce, we are outside the Flyers Bar. And this is your favourite bar in the whole world. It takes her back to when she was, well, she's a young lady now. But when she was a young girl, apparently she came here. She frequented this bar and she had some great, great fun. Now she's fully grown up and engaged to a man called Mr. Matt Dyers. And they're gonna get married one of these days very soon. And hopefully, they're gonna come out of Paphos and have a great, great wedding. But they're coming out next year with Sally's mum and dad. Uh, there is one cat. I think he had a very big drinks last night and he's got the, he doesn't feel his legs and arms. Look. Let's go and have a look. We've met this cat before in a previous video. It appears that he does like a good drink. And after he's had that good drink, that's what he does. You all right, little Gumbaro? Uh, he's got a bit of a hangover from the night before, he says. He says, and I'm off. Way. Hey, how way. you doing? He's going to scratch you. Yeah. He's looking as a pouter at you. He definitely has got a little bit of a hangover, I think. He wasn't before. happy that you disturbed no, him, by the happy. way. He's a very grumpy cat. He's not a Gumbaro of mine, he says. Get out of my bar. I've had a bad night, come back later and cross my palm with a bit of tuna fish or something like that. Anyway, cross the road. That's the Boogie Woogie 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 Karaoke Club and Bar. And that is where we are going to go next month with J&T Mac. Because they're coming out, they're leaving the, well, the Littleys. But they're not that little. They're going to leave Sophie and they're going to leave JJ at home. They are very, very brave people because they're going to have a party every are single night. But don't worry. J and T are going to come. They're coming out the middle of October, oh. and he's bringing his GoPro with him. Who is goat? His GoPro camera. Ah, I thought you he's said not bringing a goat. He's bringing his goat. <laughs> yes, well, he might bring his goat. I don't know. He is from Warrington. 
They do have goats in Warrington because it's on the border. They're called woollybacks. That's sheep, actually, isn't it? Anyway, that's a reference to me because I am Welsh. Now, Jeremy, Simon, don't forget to bring your wellies, but please leave the snorkel at home. Not that I actually understand what it's for. Anyway, just over there, that is one of the greatest takeaways in the whole of Paphos, to be honest. The pizza in there is to die for. And there is no question that it is, because we've been told that by a superstar chef all the way from up in Scotland. And her name is Miss Shauna, and she's a very, very good chef indeed. She went there on our recommendation, bought a pizza, and she then told Sir Stuart, that's who we're talking about, Sir Stuart, that it was the greatest, greatest pizza that she's ever had. And remember, she's a chef. Receive And we have to go to the pop life, by the way, one day. Why? I forgot that I supposed to buy one running slippers. There. You were supposed to buy. Yeah, you were supposed right. to buy. Right, there me. we are. Get the references right. You want them, and I'm supposed to buy them. Yeah, I just forgot that you yes, supposed to buy. Yes, that's right. Thought you might have forgotten. Right, this is the top of the operational bar street, shall we say, and on it is notorious Gumbaru's number one. That's the busiest, busiest, and possibly one of the most famous bars on the whole of Bar Street, possibly in the whole of Cyprus. And then as you go up that way, it gets a little bit run down, but there are one or two bits and bobs. But right at the very end, on the left-hand side, you've got the keg and barrel bar. And then right at the end, looking at you, you've got the greatest, 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 greatest fish and chip shop in the world. And that is T and J's Fish and Chip. And don't just take our word for it. You ask Mrs. Ann Bell. She went there the other day and she popped in and said to them, hey, I want to come and have some fish and chips, but I need to be gluten free. I was wondering, Tourette, I was wondering, could you do a gluten free batter? Do you know what they said? Yes, my dear. Pop down to the promenade, have a little walk, get an appetite going, come back for two o'clock, we'll make you a special, special gluten free batter. And she had fish and chips, and she told me that those fish and chips were to die for. Of course, because it's the, it's the best fish and chip shop. In the whole of Paphos. Possibly in the world. Now, receive you the booth. You're looking yes. very beautiful today, that's for sure. Really? Yes, Not as radishing. usual. Rubbishing and radishing all rolled into one. Good. And you've got those beautiful earrings on. Same. Luckily, they are not quite as beautiful as you. Uh, yes, I like not quite. Now, talking about diamonds, you've got enough diamonds on you. So when we get to the end here, we're going to go right and you're going to close your eyes because the viewers are coming to understand there's something on the corner here. It's called the Marius Diamonds I'll Shop. Close my ears. Close your ears. If you're a wise man watching us, understand where this shop is. And if you are bringing the good lady with you, make sure that you avoid it or arrange for it to be closed. And as you can see today, I've been a complete and utter idiot and I have not arranged for it to be closed. But we're not going to stop there. We're going to go down this way. Now, across the road to the Marius Diamonds Shop is upstairs the Imperial Chinese Restaurant. Those are the beautiful stairs that you go up and you end up in the main foyer and then you can go on the internal restaurant or the external terrace and I promise the food is absolutely exceptional. Next door to Marius Diamonds by the way is hair and nails. So if you want some nails or you want your hair done this could be the place to come. You see? Wow, it's beautiful. It is a very nice shop and they've also got a branch in the Cato Paphos Mall. So the King's Avenue Mall, we've got another branch there as well. Great, great people. And often Grisivi La Booth goes for a hair done, and often Grisivi La Booth goes to get her nails done in the mouth. Just over there, Costa Coffee. And that means on this side we've got Coffee Island, next door to that we've got Starbucks, and then just after that we've got our favourite, favourite restaurant in downtown Cato Paphos, and that restaurant is the Royal Lounge Bar Bistro. And this is the restaurant that belongs to the Dionysus Hotel. So if you go to that restaurant, you'll end up in the Dionysus main foyer and you'll come out the back entrance, or, well, their main entrance, obviously, onto lower, lower bar street. So that's that restaurant over there. Great food, sensible prices, and very, very good service. Grisivi? What about, why didn't you say any word about Costa Coffee? I did. Ah, I, I didn't. There we are. You just missed it. I mentioned Costa Coffee first. Why? Because Costa Coffee is my favorite coffee shop. We're going to go that away. Because this is the view and the lane to paradise. Have a look at that. At the very, very end, I think you understand that that is the blue, blue. 
blue blue Mediterranean Sea and it's glistening as the sun gives it a kiss. There's a little bit of a breeze so that makes that little bit of movement in the water and it just makes it that little bit more beautiful. It is absolutely spectacular down there. Now, if you're looking for somewhere to come on your holidays, to be honest, there's no better place than downtown Kedipaphos. It truly is a great, great place to come for a weekend. It's not that far. A week, a fortnight, or even the rest of your life. It truly, truly is an exceptional place. So get yourself on a big bird or on a canoe and start paddling like crazy. Look. Because the sky is blue, the sea is blue, I'm dressed head to toe in blue. All that's actually missing is... You! You, you know, I think this is the best balcony room. And it, it's... Uh, this one is Annabelle. And that one, the, on the highest floor, it's, it must be the presidential suite. Well, possibly. Or perhaps it's the owner's suite. So that's the Annabelle Hotel just over there. Yeah. There's some luxury apartments over there. Head of Paphos Promenade is over there. Let's go up there, Grisigo de Bouffe and show the spectacular view across the great, great blue, blue Mediterranean Sea. And then, of course, it will be time for the very, very goodbye. So stick with us as we take you across this raised platform and show you the beauty and the spectacality across the Cape of Paphos, blue, blue Mediterranean Sea, out to the promenade and out to the harbour. And on top of all that, you get to see the rear end of Misochi, Grisivia, Le Bouf. Well, we could. Anyway, just have a look out there. Look at that. This is the rear of the Annabelle Hotel. That's like a little private beach area, but it's owned by them. But of course, anyone can go there, provided you want to pay. Two euros for the sun lounges, 250, sorry, 250 for the umbrella. You can have a locking box. You can have a, a towel. There's a drink service. There's all sorts of going in. Very, very posh indeed. You've got the great view. There's a lifeguard who'll come and save you if you get yourself into trouble. And then just as we scan around now, we're going to come into the Cato Paphos Harbour area and then back into the Cato Paphos Promenade. And it's a beautiful, beautiful place to have a look at today. Now it's time for Cusiga de Bouffe to give us the big goodbye. I would like to say to you many, many thanks for watching, for a time of yours, our dearest, lovely and very, very favourite people. We would like to tell you again and again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And please don't forget to come and see another of our madness. All that's left me to say is thanks for watching. And of course, if you like what you see, hit the like, click subscribe, and please come back for a little bit more of our madness. If you'd like to support the channel, this is the bit that nobody likes, but you can click through to our about page and you can, if you choose to, buy us a coffee. And, well, literally I'll go and buy a coffee with a little bit of sugar. I like a rather sweet latte. And I also like Ochin Grisidia at the booth. That's it.